Hey everyone, in the previous video we have seen how to pass data from OmniScript to FlexCard using record ID property. Today we will talk about another property called parent attribute using which we can pass on the data to a FlexCard. We will see how to pass data using parent attribute property, how to access the received data in FlexCard and how to use this data to run queries on the FlexCard. We would also talk about the key difference between these two properties. But before we move on, if you haven't watched the previous video, do check that out by clicking on the card above so that you have a better understanding. Alright, let's move on. I have created this simple diagram to demonstrate how it's going to work actually. Suppose you have your OmniScript and you have the flex card and we want to pass the data from OmniScript to FlexCard. The previous way that we have explored was we were, we were passing an ID basically and there was a fixed property name that FlexCard was providing named as record ID. Today we are going to see how to pass an object itself. What is the need of this uh, second property that is parent attribute? If, if you have noticed in the previous example we could only pass IDs. But here you can pass an entire object which can have different fields. Say for example you can, you can send string fields, you can send IDs, you can send... Uh, I mean you can send multiple fields using, using which you can apply multiple filters when you're calling a data adapter in your FlexCard. So we need to set the parent attribute property in the OmniScript and we have to pass on any JSON data which is an object like you can see here. One example could be uh, like this parent hyphen attribute set to step one. So if you have seen step one is an object. And how do we reference this received value in FlexCard? We are going to use one context variable known as parent. So suppose you are sending an ID like, like in this example that I have given. Suppose you have an ID field which is a text in your step 1. You are passing the step 1 object to the parent attribute and this is going to pass this value to the flex card and when we are using this passed data we have to refer or access this passed value using the parent context variable. So say for example we have passed id, we have to refer to this, that passed id using parent.id and using this we can either run a query on the flex card itself or we can pass this value to a data raptor extract using which we can extract the required data. So let's go, go ahead and uh, try to see the demonstration. We are going to run a query on account object and we are going to use uh, some other field other than the account id and this time we are going to use this type. Uh, I'm sorry we are going to use industry. We can also use type just in case but for this demonstration I'm going to use uh, industry. So if you can see there are several uh, values related to this pick list one is agriculture second is apparel and then banking and so on so let's go ahead and create uh, an omni script which will take the user input and pass on the user input to a flex card we will name it demo 5 
let's use YouTube and it is example 5 giving no description for now save it and in the first step let's uh, add a radio let's rename this radio one to type so that it will make sense when we refer to this as parent.type in the flex cards let's change this to select one and let's select horizontal and add manual options we can have banking here sorry agriculture With the same level, save and new, we can have uh, apparel. And we can have banking. Oops. Banking, okay. So we have got uh, three options. Let's change it to button group and remove this label. Okay. Let's add another step here. And it is this step where we would be calling our flex card. But we don't have the flex card created yet. So let's go ahead and create that flex card. We would name it demo 5. Let's use data adapter for the uh, data source. We have not created the data adapter yet, so we would proceed. Oh, looks like it needs a data adapter for now. Okay, let's select anyone and let's save it. I always try to keep these videos short but it turns out to be very lengthy so if you guys have any tip for me do share it with me how to shorten these videos okay so first of all let's configure the omniscript support so that it would be available on the omniscript and let's go to data source and we would create another data source new one so let's duplicate this tab go to data raptor And we will name it as, uh, let me think, get account by industry. Okay. So let's save it. We are going to run the query on account, so we would select that. Extract output path is basically the name of the parent JSON node. 
that we want in the output here it is and the filter criteria would be based on the industry here it is and let's name it as ind key so this will be the value that we are expecting in this data raptor and we are going to return only a few of the fields uh, important field is gonna be name and we will return the industry itself all right let's try to preview it once so that uh, we know it's working right so we will enter here banking okay. and we are not getting any data as such uh, but could be the issue let me check it quickly so extract we have industry equals end key and we are providing banking maybe there are no records let's see agriculture still no records what could be the issue here hmm Let's try to figure it out. Let's uh, launch this uh, developer or uh, developer console. Let's try to query for accounts here. Select name from account where industry is banking. and we are getting no result whatsoever okay let's go back and see what's the industry on this one so the industry is apparel so let's go back and change this to apparel apparel okay execute it and we are getting one record okay so there is no record for game apparel for, sorry for banking do we have anything for agriculture nothing okay so we know we we are not getting the records because there is no record as such so let's change this to apparel and try to execute so we are getting the values here so finally our data raptor is working fine it's just that there are no re records but i think it should be fine for our demo purpose because at least we have something to work with so let's let's go and use this uh, in our text card mm, okay let's change it let's refresh it once so that our newly created data raptor is available on this page we go to setup and let's search for demo sorry what was the name get account by industry right okay so now we have it and what is the key that 
our data adapter is expecting is ind key and the value that we are going to give it to it is coming from omniscript using the parent attribute so we have to mention parent dot and the name of that field which we are sending from there or rather the node which is going to be industry and if I remember correctly I have named it incorrectly in our omniscript so let me update it quickly I think I have given type in that name field sorry for the background noise guys I'm trying my best here it is and it was named type so it should be named industry rather okay we go back to our flex card and we will give apparel in this value try to fetch the records and we are getting one so we will quickly go ahead and drag and drop one data table so that we can see the records coming and let's activate it it's gonna take some time it's done good let's go back and try to drag and drop on custom lightning web component and refer to our LWC let's see if it's available demo 5 was the name if I'm not wrong yeah and the tricky part comes here where we are going to pass on parent attribute which the flex card is expecting and the value is going to not be step one call an industry because this is only one node which is specifically one field and we need to pass on an entire object which is step one in our case okay I think it should work let's try to activate the version because without activating it you won't be able to see the lightning web component or the flex card that we have embedded in action so it's activated let's see if it's working or not I hope it does and preview it's loading up let's see the data json here okay as you can see the step one the step one here it is null as of now let's select apparel because this is the only value that we can get out of the account industry let's try to hit next and yeah we are getting the value from our flex card so that's it guys for today's video do share and like this video if it if you find it helpful and yeah, see you next time.